Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, my name is MJ, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. So, um, I jumped systems and did a quick little scan. As soon as I left the, um, as soon as I left the space station, and received a message. Oops, uh, received a message from an Atlas monolith. So, we, I headed straight towards that planet, and this is where we are. Oh, it's very nice. It is a, uh, a, a little toxic, toxic planet. Um, I did land here a minute before, um, so the information that I got about this planet, let's see, what do we have? Uh, flora is abundant, fauna is fair. Sentinels are limited. Acid rain. Awesome. So here is this this monument monolith over here. Let's check this check this guy out. Ex uh, so we have a few knowledge stones here. Let's check those out first, as always. Oh wow, this is this is one that we have not have not seen before. Um, I'm gonna take a second here. <laughs> gonna take a second here and just do a little cuckoo, a little screenshot. Uh, wow, it's knowledge stone. If I keen word for geck. All right, I think I know what a geck is. Uh, I haven't run into them in the game yet. If I keen word for war. Okay, cool. I've not run into a Gek in the game yet, but uh, it is another one of the alien species. Uh, species, I know that. And then beak. So let's let's go and check this. Let's go and check this thing out. Wow. All right. So here we go. Follow the Atlas, obey the Atlas, accept your reward. The monolith stands silent on the planet's surface. It does not belong here, neither do I. There is a shimmer, and then the vision of the red orb returns, the Atlas. It speaks to me again. Again, I feel half elation, half terror that I have met my creator. The Atlas offers me guidance, purpose, and meaning, significance in an uncaring universe. All I must do is follow its path and its orders. Believe the Atlas's promise. Sure, why not? <laughs> what do I have to lose? I see lines of code, strings of numbers, and bizarre structure. I feel conviction. The red orb disappears. Power great ways I travel to this distant place. The red orb disappears, and I am left to follow a path. The Atlas ascend to the stairs. Leads to the stairs. Where else? Anything up here? That was interesting. Well, all right. <laughs> well, we are going to. That was interesting. So, I I I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you I've been reading a few things about the game as I've gone forward here, and now I've I've definitely heard some some pros and cons about following the paths and what happens when you go to the end of a galaxy. And now I'm not gonna spoil that for anybody because that is what I'm still going to do, um, just for the oh, just for the sake of uh, just for the sake of the game. What is that? Oh, well, that is my first thing that I've been seeing standing on its on its hind legs. Hello there, thing. Come on, let's get a little closer to it. Oh, it's big. That's this thing is pretty tall. Look at that. Wow, that was unexpected. 
These things are carbon. It's got like a thing on its back. Is that the same same creature? Oh no, it's different. The juvenile. So are they the same? Oh, I got credits for scanning a juvenile. Oh, I think I got credits for just scanning. Hmm, interesting. All right, well. Yeah, 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 Sentinel. Well, I'm going to um, get a kind of fly around this planet for a little bit and then we will we'll pick it up probably gonna head off into space and see if I get any kind of message from Atlas ascend to the stars so it obviously wants me to go back I mean it wants me to go back into space that is pretty cool thing looks pretty wild well I'm gonna explore this planet a little bit Despite the fact that it wants me to go into space. And there's a beacon over there, I think. So maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find another find another planet or find another down spaceship. Oh, that is not a beacon! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna explore this this planet a little bit. I am in the third um, my third system. Um, I named it Second System when I landed it was called Second Sin and I thought that was cool so I called this one Gamma Sin um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to explore this a little bit see what there is to find on this planet but I might just uh, I might just kind of you guys might just rejoin me when I'm when I'm back up into space so I'll see you then that's by far one of my favorite things in the game such an odd little addition. So I am on, uh, I'm still on the same planet, this uh, acid rain planet, and I have uncovered the location of a spaceship and a, a crash ship and a ruin. And I thought that we would check those out before we head back up into space. Uh, first, we'll we'll swing around to the ruin. Oh, that's the distress signal. So we'll head over to the ruin, see what there is to check out right there. It's a fairly close little guy. Some of the ruins have been been pretty cool. Now, one of the things that I noticed when I was uh, just in that station back there, I when I found the when I found the crashed spaceship, it told me that my uh, that my standing with the Gek had increased so again I kind of know the Gek is a is an alien race have not run into them yet but that remains um, I'm sure that eventually I will um, I don't know if it's I don't know if the planets themselves are run by individual uh, individual races or if it's entire systems um, so this is definitely a Viking uh, this is definitely a Viking planet so far. Um, so, because that's all I run into. So I think that's all I will find on this planet. Is there any knowledge stones down here? No, there's. I think they're only on top. Oh, a little bit of platinum. Bloop. So let's go check this thing out. Now these big golden spheres, um, I'm not sure what you can, do, not sure exactly what you can do with them. Uh, I know one thing you can do with them is this, bonk. So I don't really know what the point, what the point of the spheres is. Uh, who knows? probably part of it is like never doing that so let's check this thing out what does this have to tell me about a little bit of uh, some little new little story ancient knowledge long forgotten memory 
Uh, Sentinels are the enemy of progress and civilization in the natural order. I think I already kind of know this. An affront to the Viking and their creed cannot go unpunished. Viking Crusade, which seeks to balance all things through blood, ashes, and iron. Knowledge of the Viking increases. Certain. Okay. Well, this is where I say goodbye to one bucket. And I pick up a new bucket. Uh, this ship I found is uh, one slot larger than my current ship. So guess what? I'm going to take it. So we'll see uh, We'll see how much I can actually build. Um, I've got all my stuff in my inventory. I have to leave some Heridium behind. Uh, but let's go. And this is, this is my new ship. So we'll see how much stuff I can build without having to search for more of it. Alright, see you guys. I will see you guys literally back in space. Bye.